Hey guys, if your computer keeps going in a loop where you see this and maybe a message that tells you that it restarted because there was a problem and it just keeps going on that loop over and over again, or maybe you're even stuck on this. That's all you see for hours on end. So it, this doesn't matter, by the way, if you have a MacBook Pro, all right, or an iMac, Mac mini, Mac Pro, it's gonna be the exact same instructions for all of you guys. So first things first, go ahead and fully shut it down. So press that power key. So on your MacBook, it's gonna be the top right hand side. Just hold on to it until it turns off. It should be a black screen. All right, so re to reinstall Mac OS, before you turn on your Mac, hold on to Command R and then turn it on. Keep holding that on until you see a loading bar. I do wanna mention if you have a Mac M1, you would just have to hold on to your power key and just keep holding on to it and you're gonna see those options. All right, so the next thing we can do is reinstall your Mac OS on a USB stick. So you would press Command R to get into here. You got here, reinstall Mac OS, and then you choose external hard drive or your USB stick, whatever you're using right now. Just make sure you, la you got at least 20 gigs, just in case. We're gonna go into next. Just have that plugged in and that should be the only thing that's plugged into your Mac at the moment. Then you should see this. We're gonna go into agree. Agree once again. And we're gonna see these two things. So that's my internal where I don't have enough space. But this one, I got tons of space because it's an external hard drive that I had. And luckily I had nothing in it. So we're gonna go on and just install it there. Once we do that, we can just erase files that are extra in our Mac. And then finally, we're gonna be able to start it up all again, just fine. So afterwards you should see something like so, saying 27 minutes remaining. All we have to do is just wait. All right, so just after a little bit, you should see something like so, just going to continue on, set up everything, and then finally you're gonna be able to go back in. So right now we're just gonna go, uh, not now. We do need to connect to our internet. Next up, you're gonna see this, just going to continue. And we don't want anything. We don't want to transfer anything from anything at this point in time. So we're just going to go into not now on the left hand side, put in your iCloud. It might ask you to verify with the code and then just agree to everything and then keep going with the setup. So we're just going to go through all the steps here. From here, it's going to ask you to set up your password. Just put that in and press continue on. After putting that in, just uh, wait for it. It's just going to set everything up. Next, you should see this. Just press and continue on. And we are almost all done. All right, everything should have loaded up just fine. You're going to see everything right here. And yes, it looks like a new account. There's not going to be any files here because it's running everything off your external hard drive. All right, so what you should do from here, just go right into your finder. Open up your finder. In your finder, you're going to see this, locations. That's what you need to click on. Once your locations, go into users. You should go into your user. Mine is iMac. From there, you're gonna see your files. All right, so here are gonna be all your files and this is where you need to clean up. So for me, uh, the files I should clean up are from my movies, but also desktop. So we're gonna go into desktop and here they are. So here are files, obviously we don't see them on this desktop because they're nowhere here. That's from the desktop from my Macintosh HD, which is right here, locations. You should see that, that's your other hard drive, that's your actual hard drive that's installed on your Mac. So right now you can delete anything and then you're gonna notice that once you do that, you fully delete them, you're gonna be able to just boot up your Mac again without any issues or any problems. So just delete anything that you think that's taking up a lot of space and I would delete as much as possible so you have enough space. So I'm gonna go into movies and I'm gonna delete a ton of stuff from here. Just remember when you're deleting files, always empty your trash. Now remember, it's not just about deleting files, you could just back them up, actually take those files, put them in a USB stick or another external hard drive, and that way keep them and then just delete them from here. So as long as you delete them from the computer itself, you should be able to free up some space. At least free up 50 gigs, and then you will not have any problems logging back to your computer. So after you're done, just shut down your Mac or just turn it off. And you're going to be able to see that later on you can go ahead and start things up just like you were before. And I just wanted to show you the hard drive that I'm using. This external hard drive that's hooked up there. That's where it's running the Mac OS at this point in time. 
And the reason why we're turning it back on right now is so we can set up Time Machine with it, which is something I forgot to do. So Time Machine is something that's pre-installed on all your Macs already. And some of you even have it installed already. But here's the thing. Right now, we reinstalled Mac OS. We have to run Time Machine. If you don't know what Time Machine is, I do have a video that shows you how to set it up. So make sure to set it up. Set it up with an external hard drive. And once you set up the external hard drive, just go on and make a backup. That way, if you do have any issues in the future, you won't have a problem resetting your whole Mac. So that means deleting everything within it because everything will be backed up on your external hard drive anyways with Time Machine. So we can just restore it from there. And yes, making the backup right now will actually back up everything. And it's gonna back up files from your internal hard drive, not just your external. So right now we're just gonna log in. So we are logging in and your time machine option will be right here under settings. So under your settings, just go on, type time machine, then it's gonna pop up, make sure to make that backup. Once you're done your backup, it should reset. Well, not reset, but you know the files that you deleted. Some of you might not see the fact that you deleted them um, actually making any difference when it comes to your space. And the trick, well, part of the trick is this making your time machine backup. So right now you can go on and make your backup. So up here I can put in, let me just focus in. Sorry about the shaky video again, but just put in backup now. Once you've done that, you can actually go into Finder right here under your internal hard drive, how much space you've got. And right now it should have reset it. So right now it says that I have one terabyte available. So that's awesome. After that, we're just gonna shut down your Mac. So you're gonna shut it down the same way that you would always do it normally, just shut down. And then once we turn it back on, we should be able to fix everything. So right now we identified that the problem was the amount of gigs and that's why we couldn't load back in. However, some of you might still have a problem. That's because you ran an update and the update never went through 100% when it comes to Mac OS. So that's why we will have to, and for some of you, in my case as well, because it's not loading in back correctly, we're just gonna have to go on and reinstall Mac OS. Will that delete anything? No, we're gonna be okay. We're just gonna reinstall the Mac OS and everything should be there just like it was before. All right, so to reinstall Mac OS, before you turn on your Mac, hold on to Command R and then turn it on. Keep holding that on until you see a loading bar. So you guys see this Apple logo? That's right. We have to wait until we see the loading bar and that way this will work. So you see this loading bar? That's what we're waiting for. Now you can let go of Command R and just let it load. So right now it would take you here. Just make sure you have internet on the top right hand side. Just make sure your Wi-Fi is there. It's all hooked up. Then reinstall Mac OS. Very easy. All you have to do is just select that. Go on to continue on. And finally, we're gonna be able to reinstall this. This, doing this will not delete anything from your Mac itself, but just in case your Mac has other issues, then luckily you made that Time Machine backup that I suggested doing before, which is extremely important. And now we're just gonna continue on with the setup. Right now we're just gonna press agree. Agree once again, I'm gonna select. As you guys can see, we have enough space now, which is awesome. Press and continue. And here we go. Now this process will take quite a bit, so just let it be. And just make sure not to turn off your internet. Do not turn off your Mac or unhook it from electricity. So if it's a Mac mini, Mac Pro, or an iMac, do not unhook it. So hopefully your electricity won't go out because that could create a mistake. Again, we did make a backup with Time Machine. So technically with that, we're okay if that any of that happens, but it's rather that it doesn't. Anyways, right now we just have to wait and we're gonna be done this video pretty soon. All right, so during the process, we should see an Apple logo and a loading bar. Besides the loading bar, you should see something like so, where it tells you exactly how many minutes it's remaining. So after a while, you should see that everything has just loaded back in. Everything should be normal. Your files should be there. Nothing has been erased. So as you guys can see right away, I can see that I have files there. I have everything just like the way it was. All I did was reinstall the Mac OS and it's finally working. That's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.